David the Surf Skateboarder here and today we're going to be talking about these wheels and ditch skating and carving and surf skating tricks and more. So this all started whenever my buddy Nick took me to this really cool ditch that's got all these hips and features. So our day started off with just rolling and messing around. My buddy was on his four inch polarizer which to me was really crazy. I tried to ride it. I couldn't obviously. Everything was all cool and super fun and then he got me hooked on trying this front side 50-50 stall. And that trick turned out to be more of a battle than I expected, but on my 64 millimeter dragon wheels, I ended up getting it. And then Nick and I were talking and he gave me these ideas for these interesting ditch cars. And then I was looking and I said, huh, I think it'd be cool to like try a 50-50 stall but with some grippier wheels, I think I could like take it and carve all the way across that bank into that 90 degree corner pocket. And so I went back the next day with my 70 millimeter 78A wheels and started giving it a go. And then I started looking at what else could be carved. And I saw this massive 220 foot long sand pit. And I was like, oh, how cool would it be to carve over that all the way? First, I tried it several times on my Carver Roundhouse wheels, but I kept coming up short. And then there was this attempt that I came a little bit closer and it gave me the confidence to come back and try it again. So today I put on my ABEC 11 Centrax wheels and they're super grippy. And my very first attempt, I got closer than I had gotten of any attempt on my roundhouse wheels. So I knew with a little bit of figuring out that I was gonna get it in just a few tries. And I quickly started running into trouble. I was having problems with my back wheels sliding down. I couldn't figure out why. It must be because my back wheels were really dusty. So I kept on taking my drinking water and trying to wash the dust off my wheels, but every attempt was just getting kind of further away from getting. And I finally came to the realization that the end of that bank is the steepest part. And so I finally gave up. And so I looked around and I was like, what else is something cool that I could try to carve? And so I picked this starting point at the top of this like massive bank and I rolled into it at a gradual angle and went for carving the whole bank all the way across, all the way to where that initial sand pit started. And that bank carve was a lot longer on a more mellow bank. And even that was a little bit of a challenge, but it took me a few tries and I kind of figured it out. But now I'm gonna tell you about the one thing that I learned. So going back to the initial sand pit carve, my main issue was my back wheels kept on sliding down and I couldn't figure out how to get that grip. Generally I ride with my back foot placed like this. And so as I was carving front side along that bank, I started experiencing with putting my toe all the way down here and I found that that actually put a lot more pressure on that lower wheel edge and I was able to start carrying my carves a lot further. So moral of the story, if you're doing super long front side ditch carves, my tidbit is that bringing your foot down will help put more pressure on the lower wheel edge. My biggest takeaway in this video is to just go out and explore and have fun. This was really fun for me to kind of experiment with. It was kind of like this puzzle piece of like, oh, how can I like make this work? So just do whatever is fun for you. I'm constantly exploring and just trying new things. And honestly, I think that's like the appeal behind skateboarding, surf skating. So to close out, I just want to say, don't be afraid to try anything different. Keep skating and have fun and hope to see you soon.